Hello, and welcome to the ICC Configuration Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to view Modbus RTU packet captures in Wireshark. This tutorial uses a Wireshark capture which was taken using the USB serial capture window in the studio. To learn how to take a capture of an RS-45 network, please watch the Using the USB Serial Capture Window tutorial. When we open the Modbus capture in Wireshark, you'll notice that it doesn't automatically decode the packets. This is because Wireshark doesn't know what protocol to use to decode the packets, so we have to manually tell it what to use. We can do that by clicking on a message, then right-clicking in the Details window. Next, go to the Protocol Preferences and select Encapsulations table. This opens the User DLTs table. Click the New button to add a new entry. Make sure User 0 is selected for the DLT, and enter MBRTU into the Payload Protocol field to tell Wireshark to use Modbus RTU to decode the packets. Click OK to close the entry window. We now see our new entry in the table. Click OK to close this window. We can see that the packets are now decoded properly in the main window. These settings will be remembered by Wireshark, so the next time you open a capture file created by the USB serial capture window, Wireshark will attempt to decode it as Modbus RTU automatically. If you need to remove the Modbus RTU decoding, right-click in the Packet Details pane, go to Protocol Preferences, and select Encapsulations table. Then select the entry in the table and click Delete. I hope this tutorial has taught you how to configure Wireshark to decode Modbus RTU packets. If you'd like to learn more about how to use the ICC Configuration Studio, take a look at the other tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.